All right, so now we're uh, we're starting now. Before we jump into, if we have any other questions on anything else, is, were there any questions on any of this? Anyone want to jump back at anything? I could try to open up the actual data file and slice something really quickly. Um, if there's something that's you know just wants to be answered right away, um, or if you have other questions at all, um, obviously I'm not sharing privileged data of people's next uh, people's email addresses and, and names and whatnot, but I, I can you know, take a look at data and answer questions if you had a specific thing that you wanted to know. Yeah, the next survey, yeah. And, and, and uh, now it, it, it definitely be a couple years, I would say, because, um, uh, you know, one is I'm fielding it and paying for it and doing it and um, it's just, it's, you know, work. But, but again, things just don't change that much, right? So, um, yeah. I don't mind doing them, don't get me wrong, but it's, it, if we were in that hot of an area that things change a lot, then I'd consider doing it more frequently. But it, uh, you know, I think every other year would be the probably max or minimum. I guess is really what I should be saying the minimum time in between studies. Um, and maybe I don't. There, there were definitely a few questions I would remove from this one, which is what we did from the the one from last one. I pulled out some of the other stuff that. It was interesting, but not overly helpful. Um, hey, you bet, Sean. Um, what I was going to uh, ask you would be like, um, is there a way for us to kind of like try and measure the awareness of AutoHotKey outside of the community? Because as I understand it, these surveys are from people who are already aware of AutoHotKey, right? So. Now, sure. what I am feeling is that Arahot Key is getting more known outside of the forums because I, I, I actually found it very interestingly that in my news feed, I'm starting to get new like blogs from people who are doing uh, Arahot Key blogs and stuff. And some, I do remember, I don't know if you guys know the guys from Lifehack, right? Mm -hmm. So Lifehacks, usually mention auto hotkey very often and i have been lurking through other forums um and a lot of them use auto hotkey on the low key but they do and i'm kind of like wondering whether auto hotkey is actually gaining awareness outside of the auto hotkey community maybe that that's something that maybe we could measure or something it, it's probably hard to measure, but one of the things that we've done over time is using Google Trends as, as the best here and now thing we've used to try and compare our hotkey with other things. But other than that, we I don't think we have any good way of measuring that, do we, Joe? Well, not, not, not a cheap way, right? Because yeah. that gets back to <laughs> doing yeah, blind okay. studies and actually getting people to take the study that's where it becomes expensive, right? Oh, okay. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, but to, to Jackie's point, we can use secondary data um, to to you know try to create you know some sort of metric that's not biased, like you know the way this obviously is, right? So Google Trends is a, a simple one, right? Really easy one. We could maybe even look at um what's it called? Is it Alexa.com has the ranking? Yeah, Alexa, Alexa.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the sorting. So there's there's some things we can kind of use as proxies for it that are really cheap and easy to do, um, that are fun to do, right? And, and look for like just look at the the Google trends on not just for auto hockey, but um, there's the trendings, but then also you know some keywords we could be looking for and see you know or look at video number of videos that are on there. At one point actually, I remember there's a post in the forum. Can remember Tank replied back to it and something with it, but um, I did stuff. I had the um. Oh, that's what I did. I did uh, I did Alexa comparisons on the numbers of, of the rankings. And then I did, I think I had Google Trends. And then I think I compared the number of people that had LinkedIn in their profiles, you know, the number of search returns that would come up with those. But we could also be doing things like um, just general, um, uh, it, it, basically anything like that, really, right? Number of companies. Yeah. That people, yeah. Know, that there. Um, number of blog posts, like you said, like just search for things and run them at regular. I know Jackie, was it you Jackie that didn't you have at one point you you ran something on the forum and got some metrics of, of stuff? No, was it from a long yeah, time Yeah, there was just uh, uh, a lot of web scraping 
um, I did. Uh, that was with my infograph for image searching. That's probably the best one I did where I simply scraped the entire form for posts about image search and pulled out a lot of metrics about that. Uh, how many people got the answer the same day? Did they post code examples or not and stuff like that? So, but yeah, you could probably, because we have access to tank and, and stuff like that, ask for um, all the different metrics on, on our hot key over time and uh, the forum and stuff. But I just did a trend on, uh, on Google Trends and it is um, on a very slow declining slope or hot key. Um, did you overlay it with uh, auto it? I actually did. Yeah. You want to share your screen or just describe it to us? <laughs> if, if the, it's probably harder to describe it, so I, I get what you're saying. But yeah, let me let me do that. Yeah, it is. It is. A, it's a great point of. What we did was not a market study. You know, it's not a non-branded study. Um, unfortunately, yeah. that those cost a lot of money. Yeah. So I changed it to quite a long time, but let's say the last five years, just to see how it it, it did. You can see it started here, and then it has been on a slow decline since then. But I'm not sure this is actually a good comparison of how our Hutki is doing per se, this is just how many people are searching for our hotkey uh, using Google's different tools, right? So, so if everybody in our survey said they had found it from an internet search, sure, this would be the only way to see it. Right. But as that was only what, 25% or something, um, this doesn't really tell us if our hotkey is uh, really on a decline or not. But again, I think it follows that people as a whole are in a way moving away from Windows mm. um, for everything not work related. Oh, um, the fact that people are searching for it at least gives you a sense that there is some interest on it. Now, yeah. the, the decline that you're actually referring to mm, doesn't look like much of a decline to me right now. So it looks like it has been stable over the past few years. It's it not has. like really declining like a lot or something. No, now, it, it's really slow. But right, it is really slow. Now, if well, you if see you the whole take... thing, maybe, right. Well, the thing that's really fascinating too is because I know this from looking at my YouTube and my own website stats, it's very seasonal as well. Like, you know, right. the, uh, the, the fall and crisp, like it just dies way down and then it picks back up, you know, and then summer it, it's, you know, it's usually much. <laughs> yeah, so, now, now, now is, if you can take a look at the auto aid graph, you can see that it, it is really declining. You can see it clearly, right? It, but, it, it, but we looked at it back here in, in 16, where, where it was pretty straightforward that a hot key had overtaken because right. we were looking at it at this point here. Right. Uh, but but yeah. From there, still declining. And you can actually see the, the decline. Last five years, now, but, they've just been kind of. Horrible. Right. Yeah. Now, for, for Auto Hot Kid itself, it might go that route. It, it looks like it went up a little bit and then kind of like stabilized there. We're going to see what happens from there. Um, yeah. It has been pretty much stable for the past five years, looks like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know it, it, it follows the idea of more people on the market and less people maybe. Do you want to add another comparison or something, Joe? No, um, you, you could probably put in uh, either Python, which would be ridiculous. Uh, uh, Python would be like <laughs> killing it. The RPA or robotics process automation um, is, is one that clearly that term has taken hold, right? Uh, as much as I dislike it. Uh, it's it's a uh, it has it has become a real thing now. People use to describe stuff. Uh, is it just me that's writing it wrong? I, no, know, hold on. The, you, you actually yeah. had it at the you you wrote it incorrectly. So the th 
and then it says programmerungs pro no no but you have to use the other one no when so start typing it and then yeah select that one because if not i think you're getting the the <laughs> the actual animal <laughs> yeah. that's a different yeah that would be a different search but look at that that's that's incredibly like <laughs> We, we don't even exist in that sense <laughs> compared uh, yeah. to Python, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. let's say the last 30 days, just as you can see, we, we don't really have a chance. When, you, when you know what though, Jack, and still look at that, look at the seasonality there, right? Like yeah, it, you can see it. it is really wild that there's this strong a seasonality and stuff. Um, On programming, is, right? And, and In programming, see, there is some. It, it's kind of seems like uh, that we're following the same right the, the blues yeah. kind of top when when python is topping as well right so, it's so true it, 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 it is there but it, it i mean the swing it goes from you know 50 to, to 90 ish you know i mean that's that is just crazy to that kind of seasonality like but but my guess and i wouldn't know would be it actually follows like we've seen before the actual work uh, days this is a seven day period most likely seven so day you period. get to weekends oh, okay. and um, oh you trim it down that much okay i'm sorry yeah, okay that, oh yeah last 30 days right yeah so if if i set that to let's say 90 days just to see if it if we you still see, get those right i i think that it's weekdays and then weekends that you're seeing with these yeah. dips now but go longer go back years if, Five years yeah, or something. Five years, yeah. yeah. Still, you go, you get those dips, right? Yeah, you December. Get those dips. Yeah. See, there it, it comes yeah. in the end of December because is everybody is off. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. So that uh, there's a year between them. Yeah. So so it, it really follows when people are working. Now now still um, during inside the year you have these dips at specific points like that. The next one, the next one, and then when you go the next year, you see those three dips again. Like you get those, and and that might not be the same. It, that that might be kind of like an artifact or something, but it, it might be that the there same. is something that actually I, they yeah, even I, I look, look similar. To see yeah, right, they do. Holidays, you know, some holidays move, they float, right? And other ones are Maybe. a very set time period. No, no, yeah. but hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is this is uh, um, search results, right? So this is when people are searching for this stuff. I don't think I don't know if when they're working they're searching for it, and when they're not working they're not searching for it. Is that yeah. what you guys I are implying? Yeah, I okay. think that's, that's, part, that's yeah. my guess. So right. here you have May to to June, and okay. here you have uh, May to June. To June, right? So a range here around May to June. Right. So, yeah. So. Around that day, those dates, there might be something that actually people stop searching for. It. Okay. Yeah. If if you look at the top, there's a small slope uh, with with some bumps, and then the the you have the same slope with a bump, and same slope with a bump. So it's it's. Very, it's very, very interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting. The the just FYI. So when you do like ARIMA, which is auto-regressive interaction moving average. Uh, this is the, like some of the stuff, econometric stuff I would do. Um, trends are the long-term, you know, slant grown up, the um, trends and um, pattern um, cycles. Cycles are the ups and downs, constant. So you could have things that have cycles, but no trend and trends that no cycles, right? But this right. one is both. Um, yeah, it, it is trending yeah. a little bit up. Now down is going down for now, but it might go up again. Yeah, I, I'd I'd say worry. this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, Corona, right? That's a, that's a, might well, happen. Corona went back further in time, didn't that? Like when? Yeah, but but that's my guess, right? It, it no, started okay. You're right. You're right. here in in May, where where everybody started getting, getting yep. sent home, uh, and then you have this from from the end of summer, where everybody around the globe was probably hit the hardest. Uh, it, it started to really. Well, and then they really started working from home and then they just stopped working. They're like, I'll just, you know, I'll watch it. <laughs> no, or at least they stopped <laughs> searching for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> or people weren't, new people weren't really acquiring it. Right. Whoever knows. Now, yeah. That is very interesting. Um, you, you know, Jackie, and I can't remember if it was a podcast or I don't think we did it in a webinar. Maybe it was a podcast. 
we we remember that other there was a different site that someone had found and mentioned and we we walked through using auto it and auto hotkey um, and this was i'd say at least two years ago that we did it so the good thing is we recorded it right and we can go back now and, and um kind of repeat exactly what we did although i guess with this tool you can see in the past right which is great but the tool i'm talking about wasn't google trends it was some other tool that that showed wikipedia i think i think it was wikipedia it had the trends from wikipedia hmm. yeah i don't remember anymore but i could go back and repeat the uh the stuff i did on linkedin as well which is i you know I, I think it's interesting to see how many people have like you know have mentioned auto hotkey in their job you know either profiles or whatever uh, on those yeah so here discord is in powerful uh, growth if you just take related topics so apparently auto hotkey is kind of related to discord i don't know but yeah it's probably because a lot of people are searching for auto hotkey discord and has become related. Yeah, and look at the over the auto hockey auto clicker, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's absolutely. Big, yeah. Both of those, yeah. Auto hotkey Mac, which is an interesting topic. I'm not sure what this PO trade macro is, but it might be something. But yeah, yeah, that was just trending. So I'll stop to share. Is there any other questions? Yeah, I, I would love to be able to do a, a real study. Um, I just saw Marche, uh, humble opinion on lack of commercially available applications written in Lahaki. You know, though, I, I mean, how do you know, right? How do you know? Because I think a lot of people wouldn't actually announce that their program's written in Lahaki. So I think it's quite possible there's more than we suspect yeah I, I had that feeling a few days ago like um i was thinking i saw a script well i saw a program out there that i was kind of like having the feeling that it looked a lot of a, like a, 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 a hockey thing and i was like thinking how many people actually create a program and you don't know it's an out of hockey script right yet they did it very quickly in out of hotkey and you don't even notice the difference you know now, a lot of teens use AutoHotKey to automate games. That could explain the seasonal differences, maybe. I, I think part of it, but I, I think when Jackie drilled down, like especially on Python, right? It's you'll see, um, it's 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 uh, very tied to work, right? Now, maybe AutoHotKey is not quite as tied to work because people use it for other things compared to Python. But but, but we did see at one point where we did trend on it uh, back in the day that it followed these uh, when there were many people on the auto hotkey form mm -hmm. and it totally followed the work week from monday, monday to friday there were uh, maybe a hundred more vid visitors every hour compared to on uh, saturday and sunday so so there is something there if it's because people have more time to research auto hotkey stuff or if it's actually because they're using auto hotkey more at work we don't know but yeah oh. you know I'm, I'm i'm sorry i was just going to google trends and just taking a look at it and just by just for curiosity i just changed the section from united states to worldwide and it is interesting to see like the interest by region and then you have these weird countries being in the top <laughs> yeah let me show you this is very very interesting like this weird um so i just selected a hotkey right and i just set it to worldwide and now here i have like cyprus and south korea are the regions that have a higher interest on our hot key according to this thing what is what does that mean and, and correct me if i'm wrong though like that has to be um an incident rate taking into account the number of people in those regions right because mm, well i'm not sure but i know that for example um the other hot key forums you know that they have these sub forums for different languages right now, um, I'm not here, the Korean sub forum, I know that is extremely um, uh, active and the Chinese forum. Those are the two 
well and German as well, but I, I, I didn't see Germany here. Not sure what that. Yeah, nine. Ah, number nine. This there. is, but, but is this, this is the entire period or? Uh, yeah, the entire from 2004 to present. Okay, so so if you actually did like this last five years, you would probably get China and stuff up there at the top. That's just my guess, but yeah. Um, right, that's what I was. That's what I was expecting. It was kind of interesting, and now the YouTube search for it looks a little bit different than actually. Well, just dropped here in two thousand seventeen, um, but um, web search has been continuous. But the YouTube channels look like they are kind of like dropping down. So yeah, it looks like a good opportunity to start doing those again. Hmm. It's kind of weird that the actual search for our hotkey on YouTube has fallen that much. No, no, but that, that's on YouTube search, right? But if you use yeah, the web search, the... right, it'd be a little bit different. YouTube is still what the, the number two largest, yes. largest or second largest search machine on. Right, right. So, <laughs> yeah, so, in this so case, I don't know what happened there, right? That's insane. It's like they, they almost have had to have changed the, right. the parameters or something for it to have that drastic of a change. Something is up, yeah. It's it's almost a straight line down. Like okay, right. here uh, a million people who search just stop from hey, one day to the other. Hey, uh, throw in throw in auto it and do the same yeah. thing on YouTube. Uh, so auto it, auto it. You should have programming language. language. You see the same pattern. It's a very similar pattern. There's something happening. It does right. So something. And this not the same dip. Let's go ahead and take a look at Python maybe. Yeah. See, I think if you were to it, index it, it's it's pretty similar. Right. There yeah. there was something there that has to do with YouTube itself. It yeah. have to do with the uh, adoption of Mac and Linux in the market. Not that steep. That's not sure. That, that looks cross, August August that steep, but maybe a factor. August two thousand seventeen. Yeah, from I, July I to August. Python wouldn't, you know, it would have, because it's, you know, platform independent, it wouldn't have dropped as much. Um, How about C++ yeah. maybe? Right. Every single one put, has put the in same deep. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I think it's just. I know, I know. This. No, they don't have no. that. Oh, that's fascinating. Right, that is. Um, programming languages, um, Let's see. Um, let me have a C sharp. <laughs> C sharp, C programming language. So, all the programming languages have this dip on YouTube for some reason. But that <laughs> that's a very interesting thing. Wow. Yeah. Right. It is. It seems as if either they changed how they count it, like um, or categorize them, right? Kind of. Yes. Yeah. Something like that, that wouldn't affect the search, right? That that would affect how many are there and how many are watched, but not the search. Hmm. And this is interesting. Auto hotkeys categorize as software, while yeah. um, auto it. Let me see. If this is a programming language, which is yeah. the same for C plus plus, for example. It's a programming language as well. Um, that is but interesting. I'd, I'd say that that would be something to talk to Google about. Right, that is interesting. But that's yeah, probably... I'll, I'll call Google. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just, you know, contact the CEO one of these days, right? <laughs> but you, you can probably reach them somehow. I do. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm not saying that we. Their can IT department, that, maybe. But, <laughs> but, but it should be a thing that you could actually point out that. There's some right. weird, weirdness still going on there because comparing our hotkey and auto it and saying that auto hotkey is software and auto it is not. Is a compare is is a uh, right that, that just doesn't make sense to to not compare those to 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand your point. That's why it was kind of like um, interesting to me because it would be comparing apples to oranges. Like there are two different things. Software and a programming language would be totally different, right? Now, yeah, I'm not it, sure it, why. It's, it's one of the things that we really have had uh, talked about over the years with why, why is there this this difference be between Arahat Key and Audit and, and why do people keep comparing it and stuff like that? Yeah, because they're, they're... They're, they're for the most part, one and the same. They've just been shifting on how they do stuff over the years, but it's still basically the same kind of thing that's going on. It's an interpreted scripting language, right? So. Yeah, indeed. Okay then. Did uh, were there any other questions for anything, or um, did anyone have any coding things they wanted uh, to review? Well, mm. we are coming very close to the normal two-hour mark. Yep. So if if there's not, that's good then. Awesome. Well, thank you, everyone. Like I said, um, hopefully next. We're, we're planning on the next one to be uh, um, Pullover's macro creator and uh, a little background on you know, what he did. And what, you know, I was actually, I, I had a call with him a, couple, a week ago or so and a uh, really interesting guy, but I didn't know, you know, inside the tool, it has stuff for automating, even using Calm, like with Excel and IE. Um, there's some cool functionality uh, built into it. So I'm looking forward to that uh, review with him of, of using the tool. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for, and thank you all for filling out the survey that obviously that, that we yeah. couldn't do half the analysis we do if, if we didn't have enough respondents, right? So it's really great. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Excellent. Yeah. We're going to be talking later then. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Sure. Bye. Bye, everyone.